The View co-host Ana Navarro is attempting to get young Americans to rock the vote in the upcoming presidential election by knocking egos back down to earth. Speaking Monday morning about America's impending decision between main party candidates Donald Trump and Joe Biden, the Republican panelist urged Gen Z voters to come around on Biden, despite the demographics issues with his handling of Israel's attacks on Palestine. At first it was people saying we don't like our choices, what else, what third candidate is there? Well. No third candidate, no knight in shining armor appeared, Navarro said. I'm going to say it until I'm blue in the face, until the day of election. This is a binary choice America has between good and evil, between decency and havoc, between indicted on 88 counts and not. They're both old. If that's what's keeping you up at night, you don't have a choice. She continued by admitting that there are a lot of young people who are frustrated incited an unnamed friend's children who said they aren't going to vote because they didn't like either choice. If you don't vote because you're issuing a protest vote, you're going to wake up the day after election day with a lot of remorse if Donald Trump is the president for the next four years, she said. There is not one group that these kids are protesting over that will be in a better place under Donald Trump, whether it's climate, reproductive rights, Israel and Gaza, there's not one group that will be better under Donald Trump. All of us will be a lot worse off. So, get up off your butts and go vote. Sonny Hostin, who has two college-age children herself, added that the worst thing we can do is tell that generation that they're dumb, that they're misinformed, that they don't know what they are doing, because she has faith in the perspective of younger adults. She also took issue with the way she feels Hillary Clinton has spoken to Gen Z voters on the trail. When you're saying that these kids at Ivy League schools, with an acceptance rate of like 4%, they have worked their entire lives, they're very smart, they're very educated. When you're saying they're dumb, they don't know what they're talking about, that's problematic, observed Hostin. You don't talk down to this generation, you speak with this generation. I think this generation could very well save our country. The ladies of The View have long urged viewers to support Biden over Trump at the polls in November, with a former Trump staffer, Alyssa Farah Griffin, even regularly warning the audience about the dangers of a second Trump term from her seat at the Hot Topics table. The View airs weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on ABC.